Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanted to show you how to get this cursor highlighter here for Mac. You could also turn it into a spotlight and an arrow. Now, I previously made a video on a free one, but with the latest update of Mac, Mac Catalina, this operating system does not let you use the previously created cursor highlighters. Most of them actually are eliminated because it has to be a 64 bit software. So I downloaded every single one I could find that was under $5 and this one is only 99 cents and I found it the most useful. So if you don't have this operating system, I'll link to the other video where it lets you get this one for free. It's not the exact same one, but it basically lets you have this highlighter just like this. But let me show you how this one works and then I'll show you how to download it. If you come over here, once you download it, it gives you this arrow right here and you could turn that effect on and off just by having it right here on top. And when you have it on, you could change the size so you can make it as big as small as you want. So it could be this big and you could change the opacity of it. So it could be pretty transparent or pretty bold like this right here. And you could change the color of it, which is very useful here. I love the red here and you could change the shape too. So you don't have to have this shape. You could go to the arrow form. And then when you talk about something, it follows your cursor like this. Very useful. And you could change it to a spotlight. Check this out. If you change it to that, it's basically going to do this to your arrow. But let me show you that you could again, change the opacity down and again, have the highlighter be a lot more subtle, change the size of the highlighter here, the spotlight, change the color. This will change the color of the background. So now it's a little bit easier to see without the red and then increase the size, the opacity, kind of a useful option here. But the very first default option is what I want to use. So I'm going to increase the opacity and then I'm going to just change it to red. And that's basically what I'm going to use for most of my screen recordings here. And I'm just using QuickTime right now to record the screen. What you're looking at is just a QuickTime player recording with this cursor. So let me show you how to get it. If you jump into the app store, this is called Pointer Pro and it's only 99 cents. So I already purchased it here and then I opened it and I installed it. It's pretty straightforward and it shows up right on top there. And like I said, I tried a bunch of different ones. I looked at the reviews and this had multiple different options like the arrow and the circle and the highlighter that I really found useful. So that's why I stuck with this and I'll link to the free one on the bottom. Again, if you have a previous operating system before Mac OS Catalina that was rolled out in October of 2019. I hope you found this video useful. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for daily and easy to follow tech videos and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.